Hello, best friend, and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having the most incredible day. This is the first time that you're watching my channel. My name is Sebastian, and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, honey, you have found me. So why don't you grab a snack and a drink? Hit that subscribe button, best friend. I would be so incredibly grateful. Happy Friday, by the way. Um, best friend, I just really want to say thank you to all of you for your support. Uh, as you guys know, my birthday is next Saturday, April 13, and I'm really trying to see if we can get to 66 thousand besties so if you want to help me out make sure to consider subscribing i would be so grateful and let's get into this best friend because we really have to talk about diddy and justin bieber so you guys know there's been a lot of talk about justin and diddy especially with these very weird disturbing videos that have come out of justin of a then 15 year old justin and diddy and then also a couple years ago of allegedly p diddy or diddy whatever he goes by patting justin down to see if he allegedly has a wire now <clears throat> that is the conclusion people are jumping to but of course there is no evidence or no you know confirmation to back that up so please take it with a grain of salt of course it's allegedly um but best friend, there's been a lot of allegations and there's been a lot of conspiracies and a lot of talk of what allegedly did happen between Justin and Diddy. As you guys know my stance on this, I completely feel like, God forbid, anything of that nature happened. That is Justin Bieber's story to tell, right? I don't feel like there is anything... Um, anything or any... There's not anything that nobody can say... Uh, to force somebody to speak their 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 truth. You have to understand that if God forbid anything happened to Justin or anyone in this world, there is trauma, there is darkness, there is triggers that they have to go through in order to really say things. So we can't hurry the 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 you know the the people, but I, I do have to say that we have to be able to encourage people and, and provide a safe place for people to know that they can come to us and that they can, you know, they can come to us and they can, you know, have a safe place where they know they are going to be heard, they're going to be believed and they're going to be supported. <clears throat> but, you know, if, if people are just throwing out all of these, you know, conspiracies and all of these, you know, different stories, it's not fair for Justin, right? But there are insiders who are saying that Justin Bieber does not want to talk publicly about a uh, relationship with Diddy. So it says here, according to um, these um, online uh, posts, it says, Justin doesn't really want to talk pu publicly about his relationship with Diddy, but he may have to, the source says. I'm not sure if Diddy did anything that Justin now thinks crossed the line, but if he does, he's not saying it. If Justin has to address his past interactions with Diddy, he will. So there are, there are some reports saying that um, the courts or the, the legal issues are going to dwindle down to Justin and they are going to, you know, allegedly force him to, to speak out if he saw anything weird or if he experienced anything weird. Again, we don't know if anything did happen. And throwing these out, accusations out there, you know, are very dangerous. And I'm not talking about Diddy Girl because I wouldn't put past it to nobody in Hollywood. I feel, and I've said this before, in my opinion, I feel like Diddy has this like very negative, dark aura around him. And it just gives me the creeps. Now, with Justin, the accusations that are being thrown out there, they are very damaging of, you know, allegedly SA, you know, and so on. You could, you could put two and two together. I feel like it is very, very, uh, I think it's very scary, the situation that Justin might be in because, you know, if he has had to hide things um, and now being forced to say it, now there's another thing added to, to, you know, the price of fame, if you will. And I mentioned the price of fame because, you know, a lot of people are, are coming for Justin and wanting his private life to be out there when in reality, if something did happen, it should be handled privately, you know, or, or however Justin wants to handle it. But maybe Justin doesn't want to be associated with that. Maybe Justin, if anything did happen, maybe he doesn't want to say it publicly. You know what I mean? So, so I just feel like, um, it, it's, it's, it's not giving a really good, uh, it's not giving a really good, 
feeling for people out there who might be going through things because it, it's sort of like he's being forced now by the public and like sort of like with pitchforks, you know, like say something, say something, did anything happen? And throwing out all these crazy allegations and accusations. And I just feel like for the past couple of years, his whole life has been about drama, you know, whether it's Hailey Bieber, you know, divorce drama, then his health. I mean, there's been so much of his life being out there in the public that I'm sure this is going to be something that's gonna just, you know, it's really not gonna be good for his mental health. Um, I really feel like Justin, the more these things happen, the more accusations are being put out there, the more, you know, people are just coming up with their own conclusions about what they think happened. So that's why I think it's dangerous. Justin hasn't had a lot of, you know, positive reviews lately. It ha it went from being, you know, Bieber fever to drama. Do you know what I mean? Like Selena Gomez breakup, Hailey Bieber, you know, drama, marriage, divorce, blah, 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 and now Diddy. I feel like the best thing that Justin can do, honestly, because there are a lot of reports saying that he hates fame, that he doesn't want to be a part of it, that he wants to, you know, basically like leave the limelight for forever. And there's of course other reports saying that he's working on an album. So you just never know. It's like a, ten it's like a tennis game. Like you just don't know what to believe. But with Justin Bieber, I think that there is so much talent there and there's so much a history that he made, but it's now being tarnished by all of this. And I think his silence is one of the reasons why people have been given the opportunity and the room and the space to come up with accusations and to come up with their own conclusions, especially with their marriage, you know, with, 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 with everything, you know? So particular with this situation with Diddy, the reason I, I feel like, you know, we should allow Justin to speak his truth, if there is any to speak, is because you, like I said in the beginning, you just cannot rush these things, best friend. I mean, I, 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 I understand the urgency because people want Diddy to go down and people want justice for Justin, but we don't know anything. We have to, to, to free yourself from that. It's very difficult to get there. So... I just feel like sometimes people forget that celebrities are real humans as well. And even though we might be Team Selena and we might not be the biggest Bieber fans, I look at it as, you know, another human being in this point that, you know, people are saying all these crazy accusations. So it's very scary. Um, but if he has to talk, I guess he will. If legally he gets involved, you know, or he, he he's involved from the, the legal system and they want him to, to speak out and to give his side of things or, or anything, I think that's great. But I also feel like the accusations are getting so loud and, and, and I think that he's gonna have to, at some point say like, hey, like, you know, nothing happened or I'm not ready to talk yet. But people are coming up with the craziest theories. And there's these videos that are being edited of Justin at clubs and all of these things. And I just think it's so, I think it's I think it's really sad how far people go. And, you know, I read a comment saying, Sebastian, if you were more cutthroat and you would talk about, you know, all of these crazy theories and, and show all the videos and do all of that, your channel would blow up. It would probably blow up, but it would blow up for the wrong reasons. And it's not something that I can stand with, you know, and I, I can't stand with that. I rather go slow. I rather, I rather, I rather literally my channel grow slowly, but the way that I want to handle it and the way that I want to uh, give to, you know, to you guys that energy that I want to, to always be putting out, which is tea a little bit of light shade with a side of human. You know, that's just the way I do things. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that follow. I love you all so much. I'm so grateful and thankful for you guys. Of course, you know, when I talk about these situations, I'm more serious. So if you're wondering like, Sebastian, why are you so serious? Well, we talked about a very serious subject. So I can't be here, you know, doing what I always do when we, when we have to talk about something very serious. So I love you all and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.